Hello Pisces, welcome to your love reading. This is going to be a how they feel about you love reading, which is gonna look at your person's true feelings and intentions, um, how they feel towards you, what actions they'll take and what's going on in your connection. Uh, this will be for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and it'll be a general love reading. So let's get into this, Pisces. This will be for those of you that already are in some sort of a connection or have someone in mind, okay? All right, so let's look at the main energies first. What are the main energies, Spirit, for Pisces and this person they're in a connection with? For the month, I just got this card for Sagittarius. Paralyzing fear, afraid, immobile, unsure. Fear is holding you back from what you desire. What's at the bottom? Fond memories, history, nostalgia, connection. There are fond memories to look back on regarding your connection. Interesting. I feel like someone is, um, for Sagittarius, I felt that it was that someone was fearful of opening up. I'm getting for you, Pisces. This might be someone in your past that I don't think you had a romantic connection with. We'll see. We'll see if I'm right about that. Okay, so let's look at this person's true intentions, true feelings or intentions towards Pisces. This is the Soul's Journey lesson cards. All the decks that I'm using are linked down below, including my own Oracle deck. Spirit. What are this person's true feelings or intentions towards Pisces? Their true feelings or intentions. What are their true feelings or intentions towards Pisces? What are their true feelings or intentions towards Pisces? Adversity. I accept that challenges are the best way to learn. So I feel like in their mind, um, this is a challenge. And I feel like they want to rise up to meet it. Maybe there is um, people that are opposing this connection in some way. Pushback from others or from you maybe. So what, what actions or energy are they bringing to this connection with Pisces? What actions or energy are they bringing to this connection with Pisces? What actions, oops, what actions or energy are they bringing to this connection with Pisces? actions or energy are they bringing to this connection? Actions are... Okay, we got encouragement, number 54. Bottom of the deck, I have Dragon's Lair. Wow, that's that challenge. Someone really feels like when it comes to this connection, it's like they're taking themselves to like a dragon's lair, or like a like a den of wolves or something. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. So let me look up um, real quick. 54. Encouragement. Oh, okay. Uh, this is the very last card in this deck. You're receiving a nudge in the right direction. This card tells you you're being gently encouraged to step into your power, into the dream of your life. New things are out there to be explored and the nurturing power of the universe is giving you a nudge in the right direction. You will get all the help that you need and you won't be alone in your quest. Every step you take right now is supported by the wisdom of the universe. You're on the right path. Keep going. So once again, I just get this energy of someone that's not giving up. Your person's not giving up. Even if they might have fear, even, even if they might have doubt or are unsure or afraid of the outcome, they're still going to go for it. That's what I'm picking up here. So let's get into the tarot for you and see what other information we can get for Pisces. What do we need to know? 
about their true feelings or intentions. This will be a general love reading, like I mentioned earlier, all about how your person's feeling about you. Uh, it will not resonate with every Pisces watching, okay? If it's not your reading, that's okay. Just check back next week and the reading might be for you then. Uh, take what resonates and leave the rest as not every reading will resonate 100%. All right. Let's look at the main energies here. Spirit, tell me about the main... Tell me about the main energies in this connection. I'm using the Tarot Grand Lux. I am absolutely obsessed with this deck. <laughs> I instantly connected with it, which is very rare. Tell me about the main energy here between Pisces and this other person spirit. Main energies. Okay, we got the six of coin reverse. Okay, so someone might have fear that their feelings will not be reciprocated. That this isn't mutual. What else can you tell me about the main energy here? Someone here could be giving more than the other person, feeling more than the other person. Tell me more about the main energy here. And I say someone because this is the main energy between you, so it could be either of you here. Wow, Eight of Wands, communication, movement, exciting news here with Eight of Wands. So there's some sort of action happening. High Priest is reversed at the bottom. Someone opening up, no longer having something hidden or obscured, a, a secret being revealed. Something's happening here in your connection this month. So tell me more about how this person is thinking or feeling about Pisces. Tell me more, Spirit, about how this person is thinking or feeling about Pisces. Two of Swords. Okay, so feeling unsure, undecided, going back and forth. This is would be a very difficult decision for your person, and they know that. Empress reversed. Interesting. I'm going to have to clarify the Empress Reverse later. Tell me more about how this person is thinking or feeling about Pisces at this time, Spirit. Nine of Wands. Wow. So, you know, again, being, like this person has gone through it, but they're not giving up. They're still fighting, even though they're tired. Um, they're rising to the challenge here. And then I have the sun, beautiful, at the bottom of the deck. The sun is here. Hmm. It's almost like they're motivated by what they know will happen in the future for them. Um, you know, it's like they know this would make them really happy. They know that this would be a turning point for them. So that's why they're not giving up. So let's see, tell me more about the actions or energy they're bringing to this connection. Tell me about the actions or energy they're bringing to this connection. Knight of Swords, beautiful. Communication for sure, Pisces. Your person has something to say and they're going to go for it. Like that's, that's the energy I'm picking up here. Even if they're scared with the nine of swords at the bottom, even if there are, there's worry, doubt, even if there's stress, they're still going to communicate. What else can you tell me about potential actions or energy they're bringing to this connection? Three of coins. They want to work together. They want to work on, they're working on something here. Uh, collaborate with you, build something with you here. Three of coin. This is someone who is a 
working on something. Especially in this deck, I'm just thinking of the eight of coins. Even though this is the eight, the three of coins, that picture reminds me so much of the picture in the classic Rider Waite where someone's working at a table or on an actual coin. Tell me more about the potential actions or energy they're bringing to this connection. It's like they're going to talk to you and be like, I'm willing to work on this if you are. Six of Swords. Again, with the movement, um, this person could be traveling to see you. Knight of Swords, Six of Swords, movement. They, these two cards are about movement, transition. This person could be want, uh, traveling to see you or wanting to leave something difficult in the past. Bottom of the deck, I have the moon reverse. There you are. There's something here that's coming to the light. There's a, re a revelation taking place here. I feel like this might surprise you. Like if they, you know, if they do come visit you or whatever they tell you, like you weren't going to be expecting it because of this moon here. It's almost like they've been working behind the scenes. So let's clarify. I was going to clarify with my little mini deck, but I don't want to. <laughs> so let's see. Help me clarify these energies for Sagittarius, please, spirit. Not Sagittarius. Have I been saying Sagittarius? No. I hope not. Pisces. Why am I thinking Sagittarius? There's no cards here. For Pisces, please. Tell me clarify these energies. Tell me about this Eight of Wands. What's this Eight of Wands about? what I need to see for Pisces. Three of Wands reversed. I'm not sure if that came out reversed or upright. I'll kind of put it in limbo because kind of did a little spin there. You know, I'm what I'm picking up here is um, someone that's trying to I feel like whatever this three of wands is, three of wands upright, this is someone that has already planted some seeds and is waiting for the result of their planning, the results of their initiative, um, waiting with expectation, um, wanting to see what else is out there to explore, waiting for the ships to come in, all of that. When it's up uh, reversed, sometimes someone can miss the boat uh, maybe their impatience has gotten them in trouble or they weren't plan they didn't plan very well. Now with the two of cups reversed here at the bottom and then I have the emperor Aries energy, it's like someone wants to take back control and rebalance whatever this is, whatever disconnect there has been. Tell me more about this eight of wands. Tell me more about this Eight of Wands, please. Six of Cups. Wow. This is definitely fond memories here. You have memories with this person. Good ones. Or this could be somebody from the past. Or someone that you have a very strong connection with. Maybe even a past life connection with. This is someone that has held back from you, Pisces. They've held back how they truly feel. Or they've held on to this connection, even though this is, if this is someone that you knew from your childhood or from a really long time ago, they've held on to that. Tell me about the Six of Coins reverse. Tell me about the Six of Coins reverse two of wands
Two of Wands and Three of Wands reverse. Ace of Swords at the bottom. I really, it, again, I feel like this communication is meant to put you on a path, your connection. And I feel like your person's thinking this could go either way. They could take my connection, my conversation or my communication, my message in either way. Tell me about this Empress Reverse. She's been bothering me ever since I put her down. Why is the Empress reversed here and how your person is thinking or feeling? Five of Cups. This Empress is probably you, uh, Pisces. Or this, yeah, and this person could be regretting their actions towards you or having some sort of regret as to what didn't grow or didn't take place here. Knight of Coins reverse. Yeah, maybe this has been something that... Um, Ten of Wands reverse. Maybe this is something that I feel there's regret or remorse over an offer that never happened or someone maybe took too long to bring an offer to you with the Knight of Coin reverse. Your person's regretting what hasn't grown. Or they could be regretting hurting you because you're an Empress energy. Maybe there's a lot of obstacles your person had to go through in order to bring this offer to you, whether you know that or not, you know? Because I have the 10 of wands here, reverse, and I have the nine of wands here. So it's like burdens, uh, baggage, difficulty. I have a two of wands and I have a two of swords. Um, decisions. That have yet to be made. Tell me about the Two of Swords. Tell me about the Two of Swords. Ace of Cups reversed. Wow. What happened? Your person's really in their feelings about what happened. Like it was like heartbreaking or something because they are healing or reflecting on this. It's like their indecision caused heartbreak or very profound disappointment here. They, they've been guarding themselves with the two of swords, possibly guarding their heart, um, not really knowing what to do. Maybe they've been influenced by their fear. Maybe they really screwed it up in the past by either certain things that they did or what they didn't do. Because the Knight of Coins reversed, that he didn't make it there. Empress reversed. This was uh, something that didn't grow or manifest. Something that was either a bad investment or it just wasn't someone wasn't able to make this happen so tell me about the knight of swords what are they going to tell you i kind of have an idea here with the the eight of wands and the six of cups whatever they're going to tell you it has something to do with your connection or the past here tell me about the knight of swords for pisces what's this knight of swords about page of coin reverse they're going to tell you about what didn't what offer didn't, like, what didn't happen? Tell me more. Let's see if I can move these over. Can you see? Yeah. Tell me more about the Knight of Swords. Tell me more about the Knight of Swords, please. The Fool. Yes. Let's try again. Hermit at the bottom of the deck, um, Virgo energy. This is someone that has really been thinking about this. They, when whatever they talk to you about, they've been thinking about it for a while. Um, I feel also it's an intuition thing. They, their, their intuition has been speaking to them. Um, they, they might even tell you, hey, this, this is risky. Me even telling you this. Um, there's a good chance you're not even gonna want to try again with me, but. 
given what's happened. But I have to tell you this. Tell me about the three of coin. Why is the three of coin here? The hermit. Working in secret, working on this, um, thinking about how to how to make this work. Tell me more about the three of coin. Some of you are definitely dealing with a Virgo. Devil, Capricorn energy. Ace of swords at the bottom. They're going to tell you, I feel, what they've been through. Um, I think they're also going to tell you about what they've left behind. This ace of, of swords, I'm just picturing this, this sword um, cutting through the chains of this devil. Whatever was keeping someone bound. This could be anything. It could be addictions, unhealthy attachments, toxic energy, um, obsessions, you know, whatever this is. I feel like someone has cut through with this um, Ace of Swords. This There's a lot of um, cards here about communication. I have the Eight of Wands. I have the Knight of Swords. The Ace of Swords keeps popping up. Oops. Tell me about the Six of Swords. What's the Six of Swords about? The Five of Coin Reverse. So this is all about wanting in from the cold. This is someone who's probably had financial difficulty, struggle, there might have been distance in your connection. Maybe this was a long distance connection. Someone's focused on recovery, on coming in from out, out of the cold. From no longer having distance between you, whether it's emotional or physical. Tell me more about the Six of Swords. Tell me more about the Six of Swords, please. Two of Cups reversed. Yeah, I feel like there was some sort of separation here between you. And they have the Nine of Coin. There was some sort of separation here. Some sort of disconnect. Tell me about the Six of Swords. One more, please. The Eight of Cups. Interesting. I feel like your person's walking, your person could have walked away from you, but what I'm picking up here more is that your person's walking away from something, possibly this devil, and they've been working on it. And I feel like they want to talk to you about that. They've made a decision. I have the two of coin reversed at the bottom here. Queen of coin reverse, eight of swords reverse. Your person could have been in another commitment or another situation that kept them bound in some way or trapped in some way. I feel like your person has walked away from that and it's headed towards you. That's what I'm seeing here, Pisces. Tell me in the comments if this is resonating for you in some way. What's the story here? I love to hear how the readings resonate for you guys. Thank you so much for your likes and subscribes. If you enjoy my readings, please hit the like button and subscribe. It really helps the channel grow. And yeah, uh, hopefully I'll see you back. Take care.